What's up guys? So I thought I would do a little vlog about my life before poker because everybody's journey to becoming a poker player in any sense uh, is crazy. It's weird how people get into this like wacko game and I thought I would just do a little um, thing about my journey. Uh, full of myself a little bit. But you know, it's okay. Like, full of myself a little bit but this is my vlog so I can be full of myself a little bit. So like, narcissist? Yeah, sure. I mean, yeah, narcissist. But like, but it's my vlog, so I'm doing it. I started playing poker young with family, um, with, you know, just cousins, uncles, whatever, when I was like probably seven or eight. Uh, a couple years later, my dad ended up deciding to quit his job and play poker full time. This is when poker was booming and everyone was doing it. He played um, online a little bit and at Foxwood, which, which is a casino in Boston, uh, mostly. But he was a limit player and eventually it just became like, too much. Um, we lived far from the casino too, so we ended up moving to Vegas when I was, um, I think, 12 or 13. Lived here for a little while. He played mostly uh, Limit at Bellagio, which is the only casino that still really has Limit games, but eventually ended up busting his role. We ended up going back home to Boston when I was 14 um, and living with my grandparents for a little while. Uh, while we were living in Vegas, I actually did a sh photo shoot because I was like thinking about getting into modeling and all that. It, it was like a pedophile's dream. When we moved back home to Boston, um, my dad asked me if I wanted to get an agent and try to like do it seriously. Um, granted, we were living at my grandparents' house at this time and like things were not going great really. Otherwise, I was going to a random school. I didn't know anybody. So I kind of, it was kind of good for me to have that escape and do something that was like cool. So we went to Boston and I like got an agent. And of course, like my dad was out of work. So it kind of was perfect in that way because he didn't really have a job or anything to do, so he just had all this time to kind of like cart me around to these castings. And yeah, yeah, I did that for my whole high school career and kept working and working, um, doing it more throughout my later high school years. All my friends were like getting ready to go to like schools and colleges and applying and I, all I wanted to do or all I like thought about doing was like going to New York and like continuing to model. And um, so that was like my plan. And uh, my agent, bless his heart, was like, oh, hey, mm, small thing, uh, you five seven. And he was like, yeah, probably go to school. So I uh, went to school in New York, did two whole years. Uh, good job. Uh, did two years of that shit and um, ended up uh, working there and I was doing a lot of like commercials and like stuff like that <laughs> met my ex-boyfriend and he was a uh, commercial director and um, realized I kind of liked acting so I was like oh I'm gonna like, go to this acting school so I ended up going to two acting schools simultaneously in New York and my ex and I made some short films together just good acting right <laughs> 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 okay we're rolling Wait, mm. diopter, okay. And I started doing stand-up a little bit. So I went out with my friend Adam last week, and <laughs> so he just dumped his girlfriend, but it's okay because she sucked. And then, um, so we went to comedy, to a comedy show, which I friggin' hate that shit. And then I, um, and then I... <laughs> I wrote a couple like TV shows and pilots and which is kind of like all in in this whole like creative shit for a long time. Then I just like went through a really shitty time in my life. I was like at this time I was like bricking a lot of auditions. It was like really starting to be a struggle. Um, I was really starting to get frustrated with it. You gave me a forever within the number of days. And for that I am eternally grateful. I love you. Um, just kind of had hit a wall with all that stuff and then on top of that I broke up with my boyfriend. Um, we had been living together for years and then a week later my mom passed away suddenly. She actually committed suicide so it was obviously like uh, you know bad beat there and 
it was just it was a brutal bad beat that whole week so i came to vegas and my dad was living here at the time and uh just kind of like hung out with him for a little bit kind of went back and forth for probably like the better part of like eight months or so and um then eventually it was just like you know what like i think i'm like done with new york i'm ready to fucking get out of here i'm just like beat down by all this shit that's been going on and i just kind of want to like get away so i came to vegas i just got a waiting job kind of played poker i played pretty often uh, off and on but like played played pretty often just one three some some two five at like bellagio then i met my ex-boyfriend uh ex-boyfriend number two um killing it uh he's amazing but um met him playing poker and he lived here with a bunch of his uh childhood friends actually they all came here to grind and like do their thing so ended up dating him learned a lot from like him and his friends just like being kind of even more immersed in it i've been working for two years and i just was like you know what i'm quitting my job and i'm gonna play poker and thankfully i was able to get staked by one of my ex's friends uh one of my good friends too and it was like great not only was it like a staking thing but it was more than that it was like he really just like coached me like and did a lot of work with me a ton of like you know i talked to him every single time i played sent him fucking hand after hand a day like every session hands every session questions if you want to get better at poker is just ask questions they're gonna be dumb you're gonna look dumb and i still look dumb all the fucking time because i'm always like uh, uh the, what's a c bet and they're like oh you dumb idiot it's a fucking bet on the flop and i'm like oh yeah like 30 seconds later you're gonna know the answer you're not gonna be dumb no more and i talked about this a little bit in my first vlog but i just kind of wanted to get more into the process what I'm, I'm really fascinated by that like jump in like my own life but in everybody's life of like when they decide to take things to the next level um and what that is that like sparks that so i was being staked by uh this guy for super low stakes it wasn't going great i was breaking even I was tracking my sessions and putting in hours and studying and asking questions, but for probably, I talked about this before, broke even for a good four or five, six months maybe. No, probably like five months. And um, I, I mean, I was broke as a joke, um, bro like negative broke. Thankfully, I lived with my ex and his friends were our like landlords, so like I had like next to no overhead and all I had to worry about was buying canes and deodorant and basically that was my only two expenses um so it wasn't going great and then i just like had this like really kind of like big breakdown i had been struggling and my boyfriend too was actually like, struggling and he had been for some time and we both were just like super broke and super like frustrated and like um not in a good place and so we were living with our friends and we kind of like we couldn't pay rent and we didn't have any money and it was like really shitty and we were just talking to them about what we were going to do and what's going on and um basically like they and my ex and everybody in that conversation basically just said hey like marley like you should just like quit like i don't understand like michael had my ex had been playing a lot longer than me um he was he, at the time he was playing 510 so he was playing bigger so in theory he'd be making more money and basically everybody in that conversation said hey like you know you can like make good money in this town you can like be a poker dealer you can be a bottle girl you can like work in a club I and mean, like that's so true and you can and something wrong with like nothing is wrong with like having those jobs or doing those jobs i've done those jobs but like i don't want to do that that's not really where my head is at and or was at and i was like no i'm not gonna do that i i was very upset it was a very heated convo that lasted days really honestly it was like a really it was really like 
a pivotal moment for me that like even my dad says that, like he could tell that like some sort of like switch flipped within me like where I was just like fired up just fired up and angry almost like frustrated mad almost overnight started winning I don't know how to explain it but that was like a really big moment for me and um yeah, it's different for everybody, but that was really like the moment, I, I don't know, I like needed that for my own shit to like get my fucking act together. I didn't really change that much uh, strategy wise, I just, I, I, it's like a mental thing and so much of poker is mental, I just fucking like got in the zone and decided it was going to happen. Just kind of wanted to um, talk about that and then obviously you guys know, I talked about this on my first vlog. Um, click you can click my first vlog if you want to go back and watch that and i talk a little bit more about um this journey and, and my poker beginnings but and now i'm kind of you know redirecting my shit to kind of get back to my creative nature and i kind of like let that die in me and it was just rotting inside of me this is a big question I get and um, knowing when it's time to go pro or knowing when like whatever and I would just say you'll know when the time is right and you know fuck them you know honestly fuck everybody who's like nah you know you do you the thing is like what's tricky is I don't really poker's tough and it's a fucking shit show so I'm not gonna like encourage people to necessarily quit their job and play poker but i'm not gonna not encourage you to do that because ultimately like who am i to say who am i to say what it will bring for you so you do you and um hope you guys enjoyed this little video and um yeah Oh, also, um, reminder that I have my P.O. box, so if you'd like to send me any mail or letters or, I don't know, whatever it may be, I'll put the link, or I'll put the, my address below so you'll know where to send that. That's about it. I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about my backstory and um, kind of, uh, yeah, reflect. Oh, also, um, update on my lump. Some of you love to comment on it. You know what I love is just hearing... Um, you guys uh, pick apart my parents. It's so fun. So thank you for that. I've had it checked out a few times and I actually am having, I had it checked out yet again recently and um, it is completely harmless. It is something that I was just born with. Um, it's called an AVM um, and it's, mm, we're looking into treatment options, but the most important thing to know is that I'm not dying on you. Don't worry, you're gonna have plenty more hand histories to uh, dissect and body parts of mine to um, tear apart. Cause I'm gonna be here uh, a little longer on this earth, barring getting hit by a bus or jumping off a bridge um, after my next session. Yeah, so just like, taking care of business over here and making sure I'm alive and kicking for you guys. Always feel free to message me with stuff that you want to see. Feel free to not message me with uh, dick pics or sexual in innuendos or my lump comments or comments about really any body part because truly I do not care and I'm pretty happy with the way uh, things are looking these days so uh, you know I'm not gonna get Botox anytime soon let's review don't comment with things about my appearance do comment with things you want to see on the vlog or constructive feedback or just things about how I'm so pretty also for those of you who love Chauncey forever I'm so sorry he didn't make an appearance this time but as you can see here he is right at my feet in his little cat bed. Say hi. He's thrilled. Oh, he's so happy. Okay, good good night now. I know that a lot of you come here for him and I'm just a nuisance to your love of my little Chauncey and I get it, but 
just know that he didn't really feel like making an appearance because he's better than everybody, including all of you. So thanks for watching.